everyone my name is Ijoma Uchibe and welcome to my channel where I talk about everything HR related and its intersection with the law under the Niger HR Chick series with me of course so the last time we spoke I think I was talking about a lot of things LinkedIn recruiters and the likes but today I'm going a little bit uh, leaning towards the training bits of HR and I'm going to talk about skills gaps analysis SGA like I stated it in my topic when I was talking about the video and uh, it's a very simple um, topic I'm not going to talk too much about it I'm just going to put resources that were helpful for me in my research now you are this HR professional you've been employed to handle HR functions procurement functions uh, administrative finance in some areas and you know, preparation of payroll and uh, of course, it's that all important part that sometimes some companies do not make as a, they do not attach so much importance to it, and I don't know why some Nigerian companies are guilty of it. Is training and retraining of staff. Yes, this staff was employed to perform a particular job. In an event that this job grew is expanded, how do you get the person to still perform optimally with what they came in with? You know the world is ever evolving every other day you think that you know everything there is to know about project management then you find out that okay the lean structure that i thought i was adopting for my company is not working how do i maximize the resources that i have on ground to meet teaming need in my organization and this is what dovetails into what i want to talk about today which is skills gap analysis now before you send your staff or even yourself as a HR professional for a training you need to be able to say okay this is what I need to improve on this is what skill I know that I do not have but it will be helpful to me be productive at my role and ultimately make my job better more effective and more efficient and that is why skills gap analysis so when you started work, one of the skills that was required was your ability to be able to think outside the box and be resourceful. Now, in being resourceful, let's say um, you have a pool car, right? That is supposed to be used to ferry staff and other stakeholders to get the job done instead of having to take Uber. And they are now looking at your analysis of how much fuel of servicing that has been done. And you can see that not like... Too much money is going down the drain but you're thinking in the long run what if i need to switch us to having to use maybe a boat or uber or one of these services where we don't have to worry ourselves about vehicle license registration and all that bits and just concentrate on paying every month what we need to pay to be able to use this service for instance you know you can actually gauge and say okay in a month we want to be able to spend forty thousand forty thousand times 12 and you don't have a project management skill you're just content with hr you will probably have a certification like mine which is a senior professional and that is just get towards hr delivery and strategy hr what do you do you have to get one of these templates to list out okay this is what i want to achieve what skill do i need to achieve this or do i have it or or if i have it what is the percentage if it's 30 do i get it up to 60 what do I need to do? What classes do I need to take? What training do I need to take? This is basically what that skills gap template um, analysis is going to do for you. So it helps you analyze what you already know about your role. Then it helps you narrow in on what you need to do to make your role a little bit more efficient and effective. Like I said, this video is going to be a very short one. I will leave the learning and the research to you. Just check out some of these um, resources that were very helpful to creating one for my organization that I'm going to be putting into use even in my own personal um, and professional journey. And I, I hope they're useful for you as well. Do let me know what you think about today's episode. Do you have other resources that you love to share with my audience and even with me on how to take advantage of trainings that will ultimately be helpful in a knowledge sharing session for your organization that sort of thing but like come away next time don't forget to follow me on linkedin and instagram i'm at ijoma uchibe i-j-e-o-m-a-u-c-h-e-i-b-e -E -E. i'm also on tiktok at ninja hr chick yes we're taking the gospel of hr to tiktok 
I won't be very active on there, but I'm going to try and improve <laughs> how often I post on that platform. But like, come away next time. Please, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and most importantly, subscribe, guys. Subscribe button is down below. I'll talk to you soon, sooner than you think. Bye.